it's very important, very important. Stanley Scheinbaum thinks that maintaining the public access cable channels is very important. He's alarmed at the fact that beginning January 1st, Time Warner Cable is shutting down 14 public access studios across Los Angeles, the media capital of the world. Mr. Scheinbaum is a strong First Amendment champion and a longtime ACLU Foundation benefactor who served as president of the Los Angeles Police Commission and as a member of the University of California Board of Regents. He understands the role of public access in light of the failures and limitations of the modern media. There have been limit, uh, l l limits, limits to what uh, the, the media general has uh, helped with in terms of uh, keeping the public informed. And uh, I, th I, I think those are, that's a good phrase, keeping the public informed is something that ought to be... Uh, on our minds constantly. We ask him to describe the role of public access in keeping the public informed. Public access is a way of making democracy effective. By keeping the public uh, aware of what the limitations are when uh, people with other interests uh, resist what public access wants to do. Is public access a First Amendment concern? Did he think that this new policy will curtail the freedom of the press? Freedom of the press might be uh, a way of describing it. Uh, the public often responded badly when the press overstepped itself, and uh, it became essential to uh, think in terms of public access uh, to the press, both on the part of the prosecutors uh, in, in government and on the part of uh, administrations in government. So what is the role of the media in relationship to government? We ask him to give us the bigger picture of the issue. Well, there, there are times when the interests of those people in government, some, some legislative people, uh, some administrative people, uh, they, don't, they don't want the information they had out. And they uh, try to keep information away, away from the press. The press always struggles for it, but the, uh, you constantly have that tension between uh, government and executives uh, not only executives, but legislators also, uh, who uh, do not thoroughly agree, especially when their own careers are at stake and involved. So the media performs the role of the watchdog over government by providing accurate, unbiased, and timely information to people who take an active role in voting. Mr. Scheinbaum thinks the media is important to maintain the welfare of democracy. Uh, in order to be a, an educated public, the people, if you don't mind my saying so, who vote, uh, and they're voting in a democratic system, you want them voting for the people who have the interests of the public at heart, not just their own careers. And uh, that takes time and uh, constantly attention. Mr. Scheinbaum is concerned that the mainstream media isn't doing its job as it should. Now, one thing I'm particularly worried about at the moment is there is increasing attention to the fact that the newspapers are no longer being as astute and conscious of the First Amendment issues, or even uh, in their uh, conscious of their role in keeping the public informed. And to repeat, the public, if they are to vote properly, have to be kept informed. So uh, public access is critical. So, according to Mr. Scheinbaum, public access is urgently needed to fill the gaps left by the mainstream media. Uh, you find now 
the Chicago Tribune, which uh, suddenly has a big hand in the L.A. Times, uh, uh, less interested in the principles in the principled existence of the press as they once were. They're more interested in selling advertising and so forth. They uh, uh, and that is a uh, the need for people in the public access business like yourself to uh, be constant reminders to the press what their basic role is. Mr. Scheinbaum asked a very interesting question. Why you is there not more publicity about this? Why is this not generally known? We second his question. Why isn't the mainstream media making a big deal of this encroachment on an important means of public communication? Why is it that the media critics say that nobody watches public access? Is it really that insignificant? It's very important, very important. We agree, and we ask him, why is public access important? It's important in our system that the electorate uh, be sophisticated, understands what government c can do and what government shouldn't do, uh, and uh, the public should be responsive to, to the pressures that, uh, in a sense, keep the arm on government. Because if government isn't uh, observed closely and critically, then the system goes down the drain. We all know that there are strange and kooky programs to be found on public access. But beyond that, public access provides the opportunity for anyone who has a significant concern about government policy to give notice to that concern and to be able to broadcast that voice to their local community. So that the voice of the public is constantly uh, on the on the minds of the government people who uh, bear in mind the government people are not there to do whatever they think is right and wrong. They've got to know what the public is thinking. And so the LA City Council is standing on the sidelines wringing their hands and allowing the cable companies to close down the public access studios even though the cable subscribers are paying for it in their monthly bills. Perhaps our city officials are letting the channels die because shows on public access, shows like Full Disclosure, are often critical of their policies and procedures. That's the point. That's the point. Because if the public access channels are not available to keeping the arms, so to speak, on government, the government has very little pressure on them to uh, perform as government should. The L.A. City Council's only action has been to seize control of the only four remaining channels and has not challenged Time Warner's intent to close all public access operations. In just a matter of days, the watchdog service provided by public access producers will be gone. N newspapers uh, are not carrying as much basic news as they used to, and that is uh, very unfortunate. Mr. Scheinbaum has sent a letter to the California Attorney General asking him to intervene before December 31st to stop Time Warner from closing down the public access operation. Well, I think it's uh, absolutely essential f for us to do everything possible to, as you put it, get his attention. Because he's the one in the position of doing something about it. Uh, not only because of his position as Attorney General, but uh, now that he's running for governor, uh, that should be an issue with him. Time is short. You can help, too. Please click on the link below and send a letter to Attorney General Jerry Brown and urge him to take action now. Thank you.